All right, fam, so we are back at it again with another crazy, crazy video. Now, look, I haven't reacted to my guy, Officer Tatum, in a minute, okay? It's been a hot, 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 hot minute, but we about to go ahead and react to my boy, Officer Tatum. This is a viral white woman unapologetically says the N-word. Now, I have not seen this full video. I think I've seen the clip of her saying the N-word, okay? But I haven't seen everything. Uh, I haven't seen the whole entire situation or whatever. But, you know, Officer Tatum always got the, man, he always gets the good videos, you feel me? But anyways, man, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Without further ado, let's get it, let go. Gentlemen, this girl is viral. This girl is mega viral. And it's because she said something that the people of the melanin always have a problem with somebody that ain't of the melanin saying. I don't understand how one can say, man, we took the word back. It's our word now. Well, that's why we say it to each other every day. It's because we took it back. We got the power back. You got the power back, but as soon as a white person said, it, you mad. She said, yo, rappers. The people that y'all like listening to, that be rapping every day, they listen to it too. They can't like Drake them. They can't sing along to Drake. They the ones paying Drake. Y'all ain't bringing in the money. The white folks bringing in the money from the hip hop music. You want to bet me? White people buy more records than y'all. They sell out more stadiums than y'all. And, and, and these rappers are all over the world. You think when they go to Europe, it's packed with black people? No, it's not. No, it's not. So if the white people paying the money, they should be able to say the words. But if the words you've taken back and it don't offend you no more, so they should be able to say it. One thing I love about this girl, we can't find a social media. I don't know if any of these social medias out there that are real. I'm not going to even mention them because I don't know if they're real. If she watched this video, reach out to us. I love to interview you or whatever the case may be and find out what your real platform is. However, I love the fact that she just don't give a F about what people say. Wrote a clip. So a recent video of mine seems to have um, upset members of a certain community. Gold diggers? But that's the exception. I'm the rule. Everybody I know who's married right now, they're married to bro gas. And it, this, um, all the backlash just really made me, you know, just really do a deep dive, like do a soul search. And after all that, I still couldn't find a care. <laughs> wow. You're going to. They got the, the white girl got these people in a frenzy, man. She ain't doing nothing but saying what y'all say anyway. Why can't she say it? It's just a word. White people are off limits from saying, I just don't get it. Like, of course, it makes, when I hear people say the N-word, I don't like it, even if they're black. When I hear white people say the N-word, I don't like it more. However, I have to look in the mirror and say, bro, why, why does it bother you more when white people say it? Like, just, just focus on the individual person. What, 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 what's the difference between this individual person that wasn't alive during slavery, that never owned a slave, and, 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 a, and, a, and a Negro that never was a slave, and understand, what, why, does it, why is there a difference? And, it, and when I talk to the mind of Brandon Tatum, I say, Brandon, there is no difference. You're making it more than what it really is. A person can say whatever words they want to say. We live in America. And, and, and she didn't say it to a specific person. She said the, the, the name in general or the word in general. Also, she got other content out. This is why we can't find her. And let me tell you what. She's going to go viral because she looked like that. Like, can I just be honest? You see how she looked? Now, I can't stand women with potty mouths. I can't stand women that curse like that. However, look at her. And she's spitting facts. She will be viral tomorrow. We need to make merch for her. Okay, we can cut your videos and everything, young lady. We'll help you. <laughs> I'm just playing. Wrote a clip. So all those nerds in high school, like the weird theater kids and the. This is another video that's going viral. Just okay. Before I finish, I want to say this. Number one, Officer Tatum is hilarious. Okay, truly hilarious, bro. And I, you know what? I'm gonna get my thoughts at the end. I don't want to keep interrupting. I'm not gonna interrupt the video. I'm gonna get my thoughts at the end. But you know, anime people and ugh. You know who I'm talking about. The people we didn't hang out with. So they've grown up now, and they're the ones making the laws. They're the Mark Zuckerbergs. They're the Fauci's of the world of nerds. Those f dorks that never got in high school, and they've got a major chip on their shoulder against the normies. That's why you see all these f making laws. Oh, you can be obese and anorexic. Okay, sure. They're the ones inventing clown world. They're the ones in media. They're the actors. You wonder why actors are so politically leftist? 
Oh, right. It's because they're theater kids. They're the theater kids who grew up, and now they're telling me and you what to think. They're telling me and you what to do, and they're making the laws in this country. Well, it's time to stand the f*** up and stop being scared. Like, why are we scared of these people? They were massive losers in high school, and they're massive losers today. It's time to put the nerds back in their place, stand the f*** up, and speak So Now, I don't know who this woman is. I don't like the cussing. Um, getting laid in high school, I don't like that comment either. But one thing I do like is that she should be able to say whatever she want to say. She should be able to feel like she feel. The reason why what I like this video and I decided to make a video about it, because so many people think like her or they have an idea like, but they are too cowardice to actually say what they feel. This video will be viral because a lot of people agree with what she's saying, but they are too afraid to say what she's saying, especially women, are too afraid to say what she's saying. She remind me, in a way, of a person who don't care is Tommy Laren, Candace Owens, that they don't care. They're going to say what they want to say, and I, and, I, and I like that about this girl. But I don't know nothing else. She could be a leftist lunatic. She could be grifting. I don't know. I can't find her real page anyway. But comment in the comment section. Do you think it's a problem that a white woman said the N-word in context? It's in context. She even used the A on the end, like the people of the melanin do. Comment in the comment section. Maybe we'll do a poll. Is it? The thing is, is that I don't think nobody should use it. But if, you, if people are okay with some using it, you got to be okay with everybody using it. And let me tell y'all another thing that bothers, it grinds my gears. Polynesian people say the N-word and it's okay. Mexican people say the N-word and it's okay. Black people say it's okay. White people say it's a problem. Mexicans, how, how Mexicans get to say it? How, how does people from the islands get to say it? I see all kind of Polynesians being like, oh, man, my niece, my niece. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on, Shawty. Y'all, y'all, how y'all get to say the N word and white people don't? Y'all tripping. Asian people saying it. Now, that's a little weird. That's about as weird as white people saying it. But still, <laughs> do y'all think it's a real problem? I don't think it is. Anyway, I could talk about this for 300 years and somebody find out who this young lady is, put her at in the thing. Because the at that I see on there, it don't look like it's really her. Put her at in the thing. Or if you, if you her, comment. Um, we'll love to interview you. I, I want to hear what, what more, more from this girl. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you on the next one. Trump 2024. I'm out. Bro. All right. <laughs> Bro, Officer Tatum is hilarious, fam. Literally hilarious. Now, let me get my thoughts on this, okay? I'm going to get my take. So, when it comes, like, bro. Everything that Officer Tim said, I agree with 100%. When it comes to the N-word, it's like, bro, if if you, what, if one group of people could say it, why can't everybody else say it? You know what I'm saying? And I done heard plenty of people say exactly what he said with the whole, oh, we took the word back. We, that don't even make logical sense. It, it, it just doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Y'all took it back, but yet y'all still get offended when a white person said, like, and again, like Officer Tatum said again. You get offended with a white person said a person that never owned a slave, a person that never been the master, whatever, never did any of that. They even lived during slavery times. And then you got black people who get offended who never been a slave, who never lived through what what our ancestors had to actually live through. They just trying to get they just trying to get rep, uh, reparations from what our ancestors been through. We're not going through what they've been through. You know what I'm saying? And it's just kind of it's kind of crazy to me that people are still getting mad at other people for saying the N-word. I get told, I get called the N-word more by my black friends than I do by a person that is another another race. But if another, if a person with another, another uh, whoa, I just stuttered. A person that is another race called me the N-word, how can I even get offended when I'm getting called the N-word 24-7 by my black folks. It, it just don't make sense. It don't make sense. It's more problems in America that we could be fo focused on, but y'all focused on a white person saying the N-word. Make it make sense, bro. Stop being hypocrites. True, seriously, stop being hypocrites, bro. I feel like a lot of times in the black community, we become so hypocritical. And then we try to justify our points with this, Oh, I took the power back from the world. We took it back. We, it's our word now. We could say it to you. What? When did y'all take it back? All y'all did was literally just start saying it to each other. When did y'all take the word? When did y'all take the power back? And if you did take the power back, it shouldn't offend you with any other race say that word. It shouldn't. It truly shouldn't, bro. And half of the times, 
I'm not even getting called the N word by black folks with the A at the end. I'm getting call with the E R at the end. And not gr granted, they be joking, but it still be like, bro, if a white person was to say that, bro, y'all would have went ballistics. But let a black person say it with black people, bro, it, it just don't. It, like, come on now, let's be real, bro. Let's be real. Like all the same said, the same music that y'all listen to, the same music that y'all listen to as black folks, the hip hop. The, all the stuff with the N word, and you got man, F that and woo woo woo, F that do woo woo, you got that, all that type. Of, that's the same stuff that these white folks is listening to, too. Hip hop is just not for the black community, it's for everybody. Everybody listen to this, uh, listen to this trash hip hop. They all listening to the N word being said over and over and over and over and over and over again. And yeah, you think they not repeating it to themselves when they driving in a car, vibing and talking about man, F my dad. Eh. In the, in the, in the, in the, in the, like you you really sitting here telling me that you don't think these white folks is in their car blasting the n-word you know what i'm saying like come on now let's just be real bro it's in the song if the black person is using it in the song why can't the white person use it when they're just singing the song and then when she said it in context like like obviously she said it in the context she said that a lot of her friends or whatever is they didn't broke eight ends they they, they broke eight ends I, I mean seriously and y'all mad at that Y'all honestly mad at that. Ah. Whoo, you people are freaking funny and hypocritical at the same time. Funny and hypocritical. It's, it, it's crazy. Like, you you just can't, you can't win for losing when it comes to the black community. You can't. Anything, if you're not black and you say anything that, that they don't like and you're not black, oh, man, bro, you, you, you just can't lose for winning. I mean, you can't win for losing, bro. You know what I'm saying? You just can't win for losing. Anything you say, they just, oh, no, you can't, ooh, ooh you can't, blah, blah, blah. Like, who are you to tell another person what they can and cannot say? You are not their daddy. You are not their mama. You are another human being, and I guarantee that that will, that will cause fights. If I was a white person and you telling me I can't say certain words, so I got to watch my mouth every time I say a certain words. Like, bro, that's not the land of the free. That's being in bondage. You telling me I can't say what I want to say out my mouth? I thought we was in the land of the free. I can say whatever I want to say out my mouth. You not finna hold back my words. Who are you? Anyways, y'all let me know what y'all say. I mean, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, be your boy Depend. I love each other. One of y'all shout out to Officer Tatum. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.